Hi, Hiram here. Sorry I've been gone so long, but between work and a bunch of stuff that I have to get around, get done around the house, uh, I just haven't been able to do any videos. The stuff I've been doing around the house, I am making a video on because there's a bunch of stuff I learned with that. But anyway, a couple of weeks ago, I watched a video uh, by Steve over at Firebox Stove where he tested to see if Sterno would work in the firebox. And what he did was he changed the headspace by moving the sticks up and down. He found out that if you put the sterno down so that there was about an inch or so of headspace between this and the pot, that it worked much faster. It worked better. Um, it reminded me of a video I made a couple of years ago back in 2011, I think, where I'll put a link down below to Steve's video and to the video I'm referring to here. But I had bought this Sterno Speed cook stove off eBay, and it came with a heat intensifier. I thought, that's interesting. Never, I hadn't seen those before. So anyway, I bought it, and this is what the intensifier looked like. I'll put a larger picture up here so you can see a photo of it. But it's just a ring with a couple of legs cut out and then this handle so that you can put it on top of the sterno, just like so. It works on the large can or the small can because the opening is just about the same. What this does is, this is an interesting thing that it helps the airflow into the sterno can. It's a lot like if you have these big candles. My wife loves these things. But as the candle burns and it goes down and down into the bottle, the flames type tend to flicker and soot up and stuff. So what you have is a... Boy, has that got smell to it. Uh, what you can get is these things. They're like a ring that goes on the top. This isn't for this candle. It's for a bigger candle, but it works the same. The wick for the candle is in the middle, basically. So you put this ring on top. The heat from the wick comes up through this, heating it up, you know, as hot air rises and all that. So as the hot air rises in this, cooler air with oxygen in it sink down in through these side holes. So as the heat comes up here, dragging the air, other air comes down through the outside holes and lets you burn better. Christmas cupcake, huh. All right. So... This intensifier kind of works like this. I mean, like I said, it just fits on just like that. And I don't know if you can see the this very well. I have a photo that I'll put up here. But the intensifier is a little bit smaller than the opening. It has those legs that holds it in place. But if you can see on the picture, there's a little bit of an air ring there. The ring size is smaller than the opening size, so it leaves you this ring of air on the outside. So as the heat rises here from the sterno, new air is sucked down the side, and this ring extends down into the can just a little bit, about a quarter of an inch. So it brings the air down and across the burning sterno and makes it burn better. Now, there's several ways you can get this. In that test you saw, let's see, what did I do? If I didn't use the heat intensifier in the test, it took about 20 minutes and 15 seconds for two cups of water to come to a boil. Sterno is not the hottest thing out there. But when I put the intensifier on, just like so, it only took 12 minutes and 32 seconds. So that was about a, a savings of about 8 minutes by using this intensifier. I'll show you in a little bit just how that looks too. Now I saw another sale on eBay for this thing <coughs> and from the size I thought maybe this would be the same size as the sternal can but it's just a little bit big but it has the ring on it too. Uh, this supposed, was supposed to have come with asbestos and because we don't like asbestos in this country, they sent it without. But I'm going to just put perlite or something else in there and just do the same thing. You just pour your alcohol in. 
This goes on the top, and you can see from this it has the ring again, and on the outside edge is a series of slots. Hope you can see it there. So with this, as the alcohol burns and the heat comes up through the center, it sucks fresh air down through the side and makes it burn a whole lot better. You can get these on eBay. I think I think it was like six dollars or something plus shipping. It's from China, but uh, you could do it that way, or you could make your own. I looked through my cans and my whole collection of cans. I only found one can that fits on this. It's the same size, actually. The diameter is the same size as the intensifier. I'll give you all those dimensions down below. But in my collection of cans, I only found one can that is the same size, and it's an aluminum bottle. I have all my friends, if they have anything that has it's an aluminum bottle, I ask them to save it for me. So all I did was I cut it. Since it's the same diameter, I just cut it to the same height. I hope you can see here, this monitor isn't so hot. But it's the same height, same diameter. Cut little legs in it, bent them up. So now they form, right? it sets right on there just like so. And you have your own. I, I would have rather have had a tin can. This aluminum will get soft as it's being used over and over. It's not like you have anything resting on this, so there's no worry there. But um, it will get soft. Now, where was I? Oh, so if you have two cans, let's do it this way. Just put it on there, center the do-it-yourself intensifier in the middle of it. You should probably light this. I have to excuse me here. It's been a while since I've made a video. But let's light this. Turn out the light. Now hopefully you'll be able to see this. Can you see? Now I'm going to try to talk away from the flame so I'm not boogering it up, but you can see it just kind of wavers all over the place. Let that get a little hot. What's happening is, well, it, it'll work all right, I guess, now because the sterno is up near the top of the can, but as it burns down, it really starts wavering around because it has a hard time getting air down into the can. But if I take the intensifier, put it on the can, now hopefully you can see this. If not, I may have to do a separate little piece of film and stick it in here. See how that one's just kind of, you know, da 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 da. But this one's shooting way up to here. So as it heats up inside the intensifier, it's sucking air down through on this outside ring. Let me try shutting off all the lights and see if you can see it better. I can't tell how this will show up on the camera. Like I said, I may have to do a separate little piece of film here. But as I can see it, it's really shooting. This one is really burning up nicely. So, that's the little do-it-yourself. This is just my VR video response to firebox stoves, the most BTUs from canned heat. It's a real easy thing that you can make yourself if you can find a can that fits. Um, you know, like I said, you just cut it, bend up legs, and you go to town. Yeah, see this is still, it's still just wobbling all over the place. Whereas this is a nice, tall, single jet f flame. I'm kind of boogering around a little bit because of my talking here. but So, I thank Steve from Firebox Stove for showing us that you can use Sterno in his stove. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.